everyone, and welcome to another episode. Another episode. Another episode. You know, I've, there's something I've been realizing uh, as I've been editing these videos. Uh, not really editing, just looking over them, <laughs> basically, uh, before I put them out. And the way I say another, it just kind of gets lost in a, in a string of words. So <laughs> I'm going to attempt to be a little bit more clearer when I say the word another in the future so we have unemployment um easily fixed ooh actually hold on i might want to build really all these huh i might want to build a power hub here actually there's not really any point of building a visitor center here let's get a power hub yeah. Uh, where where else is there unemployment? Right here? Weren't these people migrating? Did they, did they change their minds? They must have. I think another another uh, power hub. Ooh, Paradise Dome, though. Paradise Dome, not bad. There was something I was going to look at. Okay. So, there are... Uh, but I don't think you can build a visitor center... Or a paradise dome until you have a a planetary either a planetary capital or a uh, plant uh, administrative building of some kind uh, the thing I'm thinking about is colonizing on those 60 habitability 60% plants so the uh, desert slash arid worlds because I'm run I've ran out of other other plants to colonize basically and so if I want to I have to uh, do that um, okay so what to build first do we want the paradise dome first so it increases happiness and habitability or do we want the energy credits plus 10% I mean energy credits plus 10% would be a lot um, plus the three that we'd get from the power hub itself so it'd be like five energy credits versus the 10% happiness which would give us very little but all around good stuff. They're about, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Power Hub first, just do that first because it's cheaper. Uh, then we'll do the others later. Uh, okay, so you're building there. This is done, we can build here. Uh, we can build a Power Hub here as well. Uh, we will do that in fact, because we got a lot of energy on this planet, holy crap. And a lot of minerals, so I do want to build a, every tile has a thing. There is not a missing of any kind, is there? This is this is a great planet. Holy crap! What planet? Is this? Oh, the only problem with Genium was was the food and the habitability being low, but that's eh, good enough. We have a Paradise Dome. Uh, so yeah, we got a couple planets we could we could colonize. This desert world right here. It's got a lot of food. I can see right here, you got food, 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 uh, food, food. I think those, these two tiles we can turn into minerals because it's two minerals, one food. But all the other food tiles we can turn into farms of some kind. Or we can change our mind and not do that. Uh, the, I guess that's another thing I should check to see if, uh, how foods, what's the food situation on this planet like? We can get rid of this farm right here or that farm. But what would what would replace it with? I suppose we could replace it with another power plant. Cause we don't need the food. This planet's not done, and it will need more food. I might not need more food actually. It it will, it will probably have just enough, just enough food. All right, so there we go. Uh, we're we're getting we're getting our gathering our uh, fleet probably back home right yeah back home look at the range on that on that uh, are we building ourselves a a uh, frontier or uh, whatever it's called yeah wormhole station right here awesome that will give us access all the way over here which will be great. Yeah, we have a lot of access. We can probably destroy some of these uh, wormhole stations. 
But they're very little, uh... They're not much maintenance, to be honest. I think it's one per. Alright, so leader lifespan, um, rev this would be good. Ooh, far farming subsidies would be great, because then we could also, um, get rid of a lot of the other ex excess farms that we have. Yeah, let's get that. Six months? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's speed up time. Get that going. No reason to dilly dally. Oh, a scientist died. Oh no. Did two scientists die? No, just the one. Uh, yeah, we'll hire this guy. Uh,. And we'll put him in charge. Well, you're already doing physics research. I suppose we'll do this guy. I mean, I don't really, I don't really see the problem here. Need better scientists, for sure. All right, guys, how are you doing? I kind of want to gift them. Look at that hair! Is that hair, or is that a hat? <laughs> you people are weird. Let me tell you, welcome to the Federation. Um, let's see, how, how do I, how do I do this? Okay, so, my curi- I'm curious, cause I wanna see, yeah, so they have like nothing to give us. Absolutely nothing. And if they had something to give us, that they were worth will willing to give, they'd probably do it, because they trust us. I'm thinking of just being generous with my with my resources instead of uh, giving it and transfer. Oh no, I, I'm gonna do that because we are low on minerals and I desperately do need do need more minerals. So uh, we will do that as well. Uh, I want minerals. Give me minerals. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we should build more ships, but I kind of want the fleet to merge together before I do that. Construction complete. They're almost all together. Construction complete. All right, all those plants are done. Building. Probably need to upgrade. Oh, we don't need to upgrade. Would you look at that? You're almost done. I I do feel the need to build another farm, but since we have farming, uh, the farming upgrade coming up soon. I don't think it's going to be a problem. So for now, we'll build a mineral processing plant. Right? There's not a whole lot of minerals here, though. Ah, oh, there's enough. Let's get that started. All right. So that's good. Okay, every everyone's here now. So now we can just merge these fleets. There we go. Uh, we have closed borders with someone. And we've encountered a new species. Oh, hello. Time going. Uh, investigate that. Our construction ship is done. Look at all the range we have. Holy crap. Who are these guys? They're xenoph xenophobes. They don't like us. Fanatic militarists also probably don't like us. Ah, they like us just fine. It's because we're xenophiles that they, they tolerate us. They're like, ah, those guys, they're so crazy with their pacifism, but at least they're nice about it. And then that's a that's a forgotten empire, or, or uh, uh, was it, what are they called? I can't remember. Stagnant Ascendancy is what this one's called. All right, so you're done. Get back over here. I would actually like Mm, it'd be really cool Although maybe not necessarily good because it costs energy credits for stations But it'd be nice if I could like subsidize these guys um, Well, I guess I could just give them stuff like I could give them Like I could do this I could I could do monthly transfer of like Five or like four and then Monthly transfer of like nine, right? I could do this, and that would help them. That would help them boost themselves, get them, get them going. 
Uh, because they need to get going. Do they, do they even have a spaceport? They don't even have a spaceport. Is there, is there a way to tell what they're producing? It, it's really shitty for civilizations that have just... Because this this civilization cropped up naturally. I, my guess is it was a it was a early space-faring race that now has FTL drive, and I just decimated them. So now I feel the need to uh, help them out. You know what? Let's do this. Let's let's do the, exactly what I was saying, which was give them give them monthly transfer of energy of of five. I'm gonna do five, and then I'm gonna do monthly transfer of ten. Uh, so my resources are your resources. Have at it, Hoss. All right. Special project complete. Situation log updated. What happened? Oh no! They've colonized. They are be they are becoming a little bit too big. I'm gonna be perfectly honest here. Now, I'm probably gonna lose these planets now, or these systems from pressure, which is not good. Ugh, there's nothing I can really do about it. Okay, um. Okay, so what do we got here? We got we we should build another Corvette. Um, build a Corvette and then two cruisers regular cruisers yeah so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna build we're gonna build a, a corvette uh a regular a regular cruiser and another regular cruiser and that will be what we build okay construction complete you don't say construction construction complete construction complete, construction complete. It's all complete. You've done it. You've succeeded. Complete. All right. Research complete. Okay, so we've finished our research on farming. We've got better farms now, so let's upgrade our farms. Um, we'll upgrade the good farms first, and then and then after that, we'll. I have a cat. She is tearing. She is making it better for herself. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm going to take the better farms and upgrade them, and then we'll take some of these other farms and we'll replace them. That 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 was my that is my plan. Uh, so like this one, we need we need all these farms. So there's no no good farms on this planet for sure. Uh, we could replace. Um, this one. Oh, I just, I upgraded it on accident. I upgraded it on accident. Um, yes. Okay, so we're gonna upgrade this one instead. If, if the planet is still populating itself, I don't really see a need to replace farms yet. Right? Uh, because you're gonna need all the farm farming you can get. Uh, oh, you're done. Uh, we should do that. You are, you should go there. All right, you build a basic science lab. Uh, we should also clear out um, food. There we go. All right, better farms are good to go. Uh, we can get army upkeep since we do have armies now. That's not ta terrible. And it's really cheap. However, re re revealing Angos Vapors increases habitability by 5%. It's not terrible either. Um, let's lower army upkeep by 10. Like, how much are we spending on army? Let's look. Army mod maintenance is 8. So it would save me 4 energy credits. And will allow me to build a military academy, I guess. that That is something. Um, now nah, let's get let's get the re resource reveal. It seems like a better use of our time. 
All right, so everything's being built right now. We just have to we just have to build it up. Construction complete. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else we should build. We've got our torpedo corvettes. Like, I'm looking at ship. Let's go back to ship designers, right? So we could we could build a new cruiser. Uh, cause there's that there's the torpedo launchers on these cruisers, and I'm just curious what kind of damage output could we do with these cruisers, right? We still don't have anything to put in those uh, augmented slots. Once we can do that, that'll be just fantastic. All right, so we have a lot of room. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, we should probably add the weaponry, shouldn't we? All right, torpedoes. Space torpedoes, which aren't even the best weapons now. Well, they are still really good. But they use up a lot of power. So it's like a completely offensive unit, right? If you're a torpedo ship. Uh, disruptors are st still probably the best weapons we have. Yeah, disruptors are definitely the best. By far. However, I also still want nuclear missiles. I think I might even start adding coil guns. Just to add a little bit of variety. But disruptors are... Like, wait, hold on. Why would we not just add a lot of s small disruptors? They're just the better gun, right? They're the, the most advanced, at least. They don't do a whole lot of damage. Once you burn through those shields, they don't do a whole lot. Coil guns are kind of useless because they increase shield damage. Well, they're not completely worthless. Once you burn through the shields, uh, coil guns are better than disruptors. So maybe that's why. You don't want to overpack... But then this also ignores 15% ar of armor. And so you'll want blue lasers as well. Tell you what, let's do let's do this. We'll do uh We'll do it like like this. So three three disruptors, small disruptors, so we burn through the uh, shields. I'm thinking of doing it like this, actually. Uh, fusion missiles, uh, which are just are just fun to play around with, and then we'll add more coil guns. So the idea here is just to have a bunch of disruptors. What kind of kills me is the uh, symmetry, because there's a missile gun here and a disruptor gun here, and that kind of ruins the symmetry. <laughs> for me uh but you know if you're if that bothers you then <laughs> you have other problems <clears throat> all right so this is this is the ship it's got less armor i think the same amount of shields though but it should hit really hard uh we should call this uh design uh i kind of want to keep with the uh till gunch till Gunch, but maybe change it up a little bit just so it's, um, uh, 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 like torpedoes. Just so we have a variety here. So we're going to make, we're going to make a new cruiser and maybe I'll even build one. I'll, I might build one just to see what it does. How much would it cost for me to build a cruiser, that cruiser? 721. So it is, it is the expensive cruiser. I really still wish... Power, 27. Power, 5. Oh, we, we could actually... Hold on. We might be able to reduce that cost. Let's let's actually look at the... Um, uh, here. Because we might be able to just... Bloop, bloop. Do that. And that saves us some power. Uh, what kind of guns is everyone using? Tr still, lots of disruptors. 
Yeah, disruptors for sure. Um, I'm thinking coil guns instead. Just for the average damage is, is more. I know that blue lasers ignore 15% armor. Oh, but you know, I did this math earlier where like 15% armor reduction I don't think I think I don't know if it's fit I'm assuming 15% of armor is reduced is based on the like 46 armor number like if we compare it on this ship the carrier 46 is the number reduce that by 15% is um something like uh 7 it's roughly 7 uh so you reduce it by 7 so that gives you 39 armor and if you had 39 armor Um, it's closer to like, so it's a, it's a 10% reduction in armor, essentially. Also, why don't, why, wait, hold on. Why don't we have more shields? Why, why don't, why don't, oh, I know why. I see why. Never mind. I get it. We actually have more shields on the torpedo ship, which is kind of a strange thing. Maybe we should... Hold on. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on. If we do it like this... That, that's... That's... See, we don't even need that. We can do that. There we go. Don't know why I didn't do that before. This is our, our carrier. Yeah, this is the carrier. So, like... Yeah, reducing reducing it by fifteen percent now is four point two. That's eight. That's a uh, six point three. Trying to figure out. Uh, can't really get a really good estimate on on how much armor that would be. It'd be between thirty three percent. And 37. So it'd be like 35% armor as opposed to 41. So it's only a reduction of 6%, even though it says plus 15%. That's what I was trying to get at. So it's like half as good, even against a cruiser that has a lot of armor. Destroyers and corvettes don't really have enough armor. So against destroyers and corvettes, you want coil guns. So I'm going to put coil guns on the carrier. And against larger ships lasers become more valuable because of the armor pen or yeah the armor pen essentially so fusion missiles still really good uh but i think i think we're gonna do this design instead okay so uh this design's fine i'm okay with blue lasers on these guys um i do think i'm going to change up uh i don't know why i didn't add more armor or more well, against for this case, I might be because I actually ran out of energy because oh, this is the torpedo boat. That's why. Okay. Uh, where is the regular? No, this is the regular. Hold on, the regular has torpedoes. I didn't even realize. I was thinking I was building something different. Apparently not. Let's delete the torpedo boat then. <laughs> Don't make any sense now. <laughs> I take it back. I take backsies. Uh, then, hold on. What was wrong with the other ship? If we already have... What about the artillery bow? What if we added a bunch of, like, large guns on a, on a cruiser? Uh, that's got me curious now. Really go, really, really go nuts with, with all the, uh, uh, stuff we're gonna have, right? Uh... All right, large guns. I might do this in another episode. Uh, so, I'll, so I'll end the episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.